What is going on guys, my name is Chaotic and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys three new glitches and tricks that are all working in Grand Theft Auto Online after all the latest updates and patches. So let's go ahead and get straight into things. Okay, so to start things off, I'm going to be showing you guys a diving animation glitch which makes your character think they're diving, but they'll actually be on land when doing it. So for this glitch, what you want to do is make your way to the pier, then you want to come to this stairway and you want to stand on the fifth step upwards. From here then you want to face the water and press the jump button, but instead of jumping your character will try to dive into the water even though they're too far away and there's a railing at the bottom which will stop you from doing so. But there we go, that is literally it for this glitch. You can make your character dive on land and then fall over really weirdly at the bottom when they hit this railing. It is a very simple and easy glitch which you can do in GTA Online either on your own or with some friends to show off to them and they'll definitely wonder how you've managed to do this. And of course with this glitch you can also get some pretty cool snapmatics and who knows you might be able to make some videos with the Rockstar Editor with this too. So definitely go ahead and try this glitch out if you're ever near the pier. It is a very easy glitch, you should be able to hit this glitch just about every time when you try it. And as far as I'm aware of, this glitch works across all platforms. Moving on to the next glitch, this allows you to make your apartment interior completely invisible. It is an extremely weird glitch, don't ask me how this works, but basically what you want to do is go into your penthouse apartment, one of the new ones we received with the executives and other criminals update a few months ago, but for this glitch to work, your interior will have to be set to modern. As far as I'm aware of, it doesn't work with any other interior. I did try with one or two, but it seemed to only work with this one. So what you want to do is go ahead and stand right by here facing these wooden slats and you want to go into first person. Now on your first attempt it might not do anything so go back into third person and back into first person and hopefully this time the glitch will work and your entire apartment and the apartment building will go completely invisible. Like I said, don't ask me how this works, it is a complete mystery to me, but somehow, by going into first person whilst looking at these wooden slats, makes your apartment completely invisible. But once you've done this glitch, you can in fact move around your apartment, you don't have to stay in that location where you did the glitch, and from here you can get some pretty good views of the city and the Vinewood Hills. And when you want to go back to normal and restore your apartment interior, just go into third person or open your phone and go to the Snapmatic app. And there we go, everything should be reset and you can now see the interior of your apartment once again. But moving on to the third and final trick in today's video, this allows you to smash windows whilst holding any animation. It is a very, very weird trick, but for some reason it has only just been discovered. Basically what you want to do is find a random car on the street, which you have to smash the windows of to break into, stand near it and you want to hold any animation which you want to do this with, and as you're holding it, go ahead and try to access the car. And what should happen is your character will continue to hold the animation as they smash the window and get into the car. It's a pretty weird yet fun trick to do and show other players in GTA Online and they'll definitely wonder how you've managed to do this and this trick does work as far as I'm aware of with any animation available to you. But there we go, once again another very simple and easy trick in GTA Online which you guys can do to show off to your friends and get some pretty good reactions. Well there we go guys, those are the three glitches and tricks for today's video. I do hope you guys have enjoyed them and have some fun using these. If you could take a few seconds out of the day, click the like button, it would help me out a lot and it's also greatly appreciated. Also be sure to leave a comment on this video and let me know your thoughts and feelings about these glitches and tricks. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'd recommend that you do because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So once again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.